time to unbox what some people are calling the new flagship Windows phone, the HTC 8X, or as they are officially calling it, the HTC Windows Phone 8X. They are pretty fired up about this partnership. Now this is actually a pre-production unit, so we don't get the whole super duper unboxing. I don't even need my cool box cutter, which is kind of a bummer. But nevertheless, let's see what we've got. Oh, it is taped up, yay. Box cutter time. The Windows Phone thing seems to be like, make a really colorful, pretty phone. So this one comes in sort of a lime yellow and this blue one, which I will never, ever, ever get out of this box. Like, look how flush that is. It's just gonna live in here forever. Just... Sorry, phone. Torture test starts early this year. Uh -huh. No, really. How do you? That was very smart. That was not my smartest move ever. Okay. Oh, I know. How about this? Push it out. Thunk. I did it. All right, that's a little ridiculous. Also in our box, congratulations. You're one of the first in the world to experience the new Windows Phone 8X by HTC for AT&T. You probably won't get that in your box, but let's have a look at our power brick. Ooh, a nice curved design. Doesn't look just like the Apple one, which is kind of a refreshing change. And then of course, what appears to be an extremely short little USB cable, micro USB charging. That is it. Let's have a look at the phone. Ooh, this is pretty. This definitely gives the Lumias a run for its money in terms of looks. It's kind of a curved back here. Not the hugest phone, so it's nice for those people who are feeling like phones are getting a little too big these days. Let's turn it on. Now, Microsoft is not letting OEMs customize the operating system the way that Android is or the way that Google is with Android, so you should get a pretty consistent Windows phone experience across the board. This phone is also available on three US carriers, the T-Mobile, Verizon, and AT&T, which is a change from the Lumia, so the Lumia 920 I think is only available on AT&T. You have the now familiar Windows Phone tile interface here, which I like. All right, let's talk about the guts. The 8X has a 4.3 inch touchscreen display. It's Gorilla Glass 2, so it should be pretty tough. And it's a really nice HD display, 1280 by 720 resolution. And it looks good with movies. It comes in 16 gigs only. It has an eight megapixel camera on the back and a front facing two megapixel front camera. That's a pretty nice front facing camera. It can also record 1080p HD video. There's a dual core Qualcomm processor running at 1.5 gigahertz, so it should be plenty powerful. We don't know too much about battery life. It does have NFC, Bluetooth 3.1, and of course, Wi-Fi. One cool thing to note, if you buy this phone on Verizon, it has support for wireless charging. That's a pretty good feature. One note about the camera, we've heard that some of the photos can be a little disappointing. Read our full CNET review for more information on that. One reason might be that even though the 8X has an eight megapixel camera, it defaults to six megapixels for some reason. All in all, the 8X is a really nice phone. It has a great design. If I saw someone using it, I'd wanna know what it was. It's beautiful, it's lightweight, and this operating system is very good and usable. The biggest problem with Windows Phone, of course, there aren't really very many apps available. If the only app you use is Microsoft Office 13, then you're in good shape. But if you want something else, you might be in trouble. This phone starts at $199 on most carriers with a new contract, of course. You can find all the details in our full review over at CNET.com.